Hi, today we're gonna be making an origami TARDIS. Here we have a finished model that I made with some lovely blue paper and I decorated it with stickers. Pretty fancy, huh? First I must point out that this is not my design. I found it I found an image of a crease pattern and a finished model on Reddit. And so I extrapolated the, the instructions from there. So the link mu must be in, this, be in the description. And this is the first one I made, just as a test. Nice, huh? All right. So let's begin. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make. Crease, diagonal creases here, here, and we're gonna make middle line creases here and here. Pretty simple, huh? The thing about the TARDIS is that you have to get the proportions just right because if it's too thin it ends up, it's an, it ends up looking like a bottle and if it's too wide it's too boxy so to get the proportions right we need to find the 11th 16th portion of this line or this line whichever so you can use the middle line or you can use the diagonals. I'm gonna use the diagonals. I'm gonna bring the corner to the center like so and don't create just make a little mark here. There we go. I'm gonna mark it here. There you go. Right? Now we're gonna find and let's mark the center too. We need to find the middle point between this and this so, like so again just a tiny mark. There we go. Now, the middle point between this and this. And again, bring the two together and squash it. Right. There you go. And finally, the middle point between that one that one, right? That one and that one. Again. It's a tricky but you can do it. There you go. Just there. And there is this is the one we need. Why do we need it? We're gonna do some parallel creases all the way across this line and across this line, right? So make sure that the edges collide and that the crease goes through that point that we want. Right. Crease. 
four. And another this way. There you go. Make sure that it's parallel. So there you go. There you go. So you got two, two. Now, the point where that crease you just made and the diagonal, you're gonna make another parallel crease there and here as well. Now, we're gonna have to make these creases that make up the lantern and the door, you know? So, in order to make them, we need to fold this one in valley, like so, valley. And fold this one mounting like so. But we just do that so we can see this little bit that sticks out here, or this little bit that sticks out here. Why? Because that's the width that we're gonna use for the next creases. So memorize it how big is that? How wide is that? Right? Maybe you make one tiny crease here so you can memo so you can take it into account. Keep it there. So we're gonna make two along the middle line and another two along those lines. And then two here and another two. So let's fold in half and we pinch the paper remembering the width of that little piece of paper that ticked out right it doesn't have to be exact but just about right ensure that the crease is very very parallel to the middle line right there you go and take the paper and with the crease on the other side bring it up like so so you can make the other two creases make sure that the edges align and crease Try to reverse the fold so you so the paper is folding both ways. This one and that one. Yeah. Fold. Now you can see the four lines surrounding the middle line. Right? One, two, three, four. Right? Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other middle line. Folding half. And now you can take 
the point where this line intersects this line as a guideline. So you can increase so that the width is just right. Remember to keep it straight, keep it parallel. Alright, and again with the crease upside down, crease touching the table, we bring it upwards and align the papers. Alright. So that it folds both ways, right? And there we go. Now we got another four creases, right? You can see them one, two, three, four, right? So these are this is gonna be the lantern, the top, right here. Make sure you have all the creases that we had just made. Now, take a corner of the model of the paper, and this is gonna be a corner of the TARDIS, and this too. We need to bring these two together, but first we need to make a crease that's halfway between this line and this line and so and also this line and this line right so we need to fold this diagonal upwards so that it sticks out a mountain fold and this one will be a mountain fold this one will be a mountain fold as well. So you bring it together, bring the diagonal and this line together, like so. together and you crease there you go a little bit sticks out that's supposed to happen there you go now before you go to the other corner the next corner make sure we're gonna have to crease these lines so that we have the desired form, right? This one is a mountain valley, and this one is a valley fold. This one is a mountain fold, and this one is a valley fold. All right, and same with the other two. All right, pinch here, pinch here. There you go. See? That's how it looks like. Which is this part right here. Do the same thing with the others, the other lines. like 
いたします。Right? So, we're not really gonna keep those lines folded right now, but we're gonna fold them as we make the corners. It's a bit tricky, but bear with me. You see, when we made this corner, now the upper edges of the TARDIS will start to pop up right here. Which is right here. Right? So. We're gonna go on to this corner. But first, let's make sure that we have the, the center lines. that everything is sticking in place, right? There we go. Now, let's make the other corner. Third corner. Right. Final corner. Well, well, well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
starting to look like the final model of mine. We're gonna use these corners that stick out at the bottom to lock the model in place. So, we have a corner, right? This is the right way up. Turn around and we have a corner. So, we need to flatten the corner a bit and bring this triangle of paper upwards. And we crease where it meets the rest of the model, the rest of the paper. Right. Crease there, crease there. See? That's one corner. Corner of the TARDIS, right? Go to the next one, and same thing. Flatten and bring it up. Bring up against the paper. There, crease, crease. Again, we flatten a bit, that's gonna be a bit hard because everything is locking off now. There. And the final one. Flatten and bring it up. Right. There you go. So we should flatten that. There you go. Now. Oh, it's a little boxy, isn't it? But now, we have to make the lantern, right? It takes a little bit of dodging, but you'll get there in the end. The thing is to... Make sure that the creases are like so. You see how it's like a pyramid? We need to pinch this this borders here. And bring them down. Bring them down against the box. Yeah. Kind of flatten with your fingernail. Right? There you go. Flatten it, flatten it, flatten it, flatten it. To make the lantern shape, the light shape, right, make sure you stick your finger from the underside of the box and press up both fingers from inside and outside so that it acquires shape. The sturdier the paper, the better it will come. Don't don't make with us cardboard, but you know. There you go. How's it look? Good, huh? Now the final part, the edge, the lower edge of the TARDIS. Turn it around, so you're looking at it from the bottom, and take one corner. Now, you're gonna want to pinch the paper here and bring it up. But, how much, you ask? Of course, you ask that. Pinch the paper 
the exact width that we used for this crease. Remember the one that we talked about? So pinch here and bring the paper up. Remove your finger and crease. Squash here. There, like that. There you go. Now, the little bit of paper that sticks out, we're gonna fold inside the charges, inside the box, and crease. Like so. There you go. And same thing goes for all the other corners. And voila, that is all. Now you can decorate it, you can color it, you can draw it, or you can stick something inside so it looks more like a TARDIS. <laughs> nice, huh? Mm. And if you get around to making your own, to make your own model, Make sure that you tell me and post some pictures somewhere. Alright? That was all. Thank you for watching and I'll see.